Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, let's take a look at Cilium. So a few of my viewers have requested me to do videos on Cilium. Um, so I don't know how far I'm going to go into Cilium because that's a huge concept. Um, but I plan to do at least a few videos on Cilium and concepts around it. So Cilium, let's take a look what Cilium is and how to install Cilium, how to use it and things like that. So let's go to the web browser and go to Cilium.io. Okay, so that's Cilium. So Cilium is an open source. It's a CNCF graduate project. And um, so it not only provides network connectivity to your Kubernetes cluster, so it's it's a CNI plugin basically. So if you are used to using my Vagrant provision Kubernetes cluster, you would have known that I always used either Flannel or Calico as my uh, container networking interface for my overlay network but Cilium is again another competitor in this area so it provides network connectivity to your Kubernetes cluster but Cilium provides much more than that so in addition to providing the core feature which is providing network connectivity inside your Kubernetes cluster you know basically the part-to-part -part communication it also provides a way to secure network connections and also provides methods and concepts for observability for providing observability so that you know what's going on inside your cluster in terms of you know network connectivity traffic and things like that so if you take a look under the use cases so networking is the core functionality that it provides as a cni container networking interface and there is this observability component of it uh, there is a tool called hubble which i think i might be able to cover in one of my future videos and hubble is used for observability for uh, you know, for finding out the traces and network connections between your various workloads. And there's also a UI to Hubble. You can visualize what's going on in your cluster in terms of network connections. And you can also use it to provide security by creating network policies and things like that. Let's go into the docs, Cilium, and see what we can do from here. Okay, so here's the doc. I'm going to increase the font slightly. Introduction to Cilium, Hubble, what is Cilium, what is Hubble, I'm not going to go into these things. Uh, eBPF, so you don't have to worry about eBPF. So Cilium is basically based on the eBPF technology, which is a kernel concept, which is a latest kernel technology. The original BPF, if you know, it's, it's, you know, it's the acronym for Berkeley Packet Filter. It's a technology that's developed for packet filtering, but eBPF is a successor to BPF but it's not just used for packet filtering it's much more than that there's a lot of things going on uh, in ebpf but for this video you don't have to worry too much about it you just need to know that cilium is based on ebpf which is a linux kernel technology okay so let's go into the cilium quick installation so depending on which kubernetes cluster you want uh, to install Cilium onto, you have instructions for each one of those. So you have one for Google, Azure, EKS is for AWS, Kind, Minikube, Ratchet, Desktop, and so on. And there are a few different ways to install Cilium inside your Kubernetes cluster. And this quick start installation uh, explains how you could do that using the Cilium client tool. You could also install Cilium in your Kubernetes cluster using uh, Helm which we will cover in one of the other videos but for this video let's go with a simple straightforward um, quick start installation we just follow the quick start installation that's given here okay so you need to have a kubernetes cluster what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to be using kind because i'm not in the cloud i'm doing all these in my local laptop i'm going to be using either kind or minikube but you know if you ask me between kind and minikube i would prefer kind the thing is you need to have kind installed and make sure you install version higher than 0.7.0. If you haven't already installed kind uh, Kubernetes in Docker, uh, you could follow the installations in this link and then get kind installed on your local machine. Uh, the setup that I have currently today is I'm recording this video in my Arch Linux and I logged into my Arch Linux server, which is another machine which has got more memory in like 32 gigabyte of memory. It has got 16 core CPU, it's running Arch Linux. So that's where I'm doing, I'm installing Kubernetes components. I'm deploying Kubernetes cluster, Cilium and everything. But the whole recording is happening on my uh, Arch Linux laptop, okay? 
So that's my setup and I've already got Kind installed and if I go to my YouTube channel if you want to know how to install Kind and, kind and stuff then you search in my channel for Kind. So Cube43 is the one that I did. Um, that was like four years ago. It should still be relevant but I would advise you to look at one of the recent ones. So Cube43.2 that was done two years ago that should be relevant. And there is Cube96, Kind, Kubernetes and Docker. Um, yeah, I think Cube43.2 should be relevant. It should be straightforward. If, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you could just go to Kind GitHub and then download the binary, put it inside the path, and then you should be able to use Kind. Okay, on my Linux machine, if I do which Kind, I have Kind installed. If I do Kind version, it's 0 0.22.0, okay? So that's, that satisfies this criteria, which is higher than 0 0.7.0. The first thing to do is to download the Kind configuration file. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go into my play directory. All right, so we've downloaded the Kind configuration file. Let's take a look at Kind configuration. Okay, so all we have is a cluster configuration that we need to pass into the Kind create cluster command. So all we have is a four node cluster, one master node and three worker nodes. The important bit here is to disable the default CNI. So Cilium is a container networking interface which we will be deploying in the next step. So for that, we have to disable the default CNI. So when you run kind create cluster, it's going to provide you with a default CNI. I'm not sure which CNI uh, it uses, Flannel, Calico or whatever. Weave. I think it must be WeaveNet, I guess, I'm not sure. But the thing is, once you deployed kind uh, a Kubernetes cluster using kind, and if you didn't pass this option, it will come with the default CNI. Then you have to go through the pain of disabling or uninstalling or removing the existing CNI and then install CNI. So this bit is really important. But if you've got an existing Kubernetes cluster with a with any CNI running, I think there is a documentation in the Cilium website that tells you how you could migrate your workloads from an existing CNI and switch over to using Cilium. I might be doing a video on that at some point in the future, but I'm not sure. But let's start with a clean state. So all we need is a Kubernetes cluster without a CNI, okay? So the next step is to actually create the cluster using this configuration. Let's do that. Kind create cluster and pass in the configuration file. So it's take it's gonna take a few seconds to complete. It's starting the control plane. It has already downloaded the node Docker image. It's now starting the control plane. Then it will start all the worker nodes. It will join the worker nodes. It will deploy a few add-ons. Installing storage class should be ready in a few seconds. Okay, so we have Kubernetes cluster running in Docker container. If I do Docker PS, I can see four Docker containers running and this one is the control plane. I can see the port 6443 exposed. All right, if I do which, sorry, not which, kubectl get nodes. Okay, if I do which K, in case you're wondering what K is alias to, my K is alias to cube color, which gives you a nice colorized output for all the kubectl outputs. Okay, so now we have Kubernetes kubectl get nodes and all these nodes are in the not ready state. You must be guessed by now why it's not in the ready state. That's because we haven't got a uh, CNI plugin deployed in the cluster. Without CNI plugin, your workloads won't be able to communicate with each other. Okay, so if I do kubectl get pods dash a, and you can see here, a few of them are pending, like right? kube system core DNS is pending, and this one is pending. So that's kind of expected because we don't have a working networking feature in our Kubernetes cluster. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to download Cilium 2, and then we're going to deploy Cilium CNI inside our cluster. So let's go back to the documentation. Install the Cilium CLI. So we're gonna install Cilium. Make sure you install Cilium CLI version 0 0.15.0 or later. Okay, the rest of the instructions do not work with the older versions of Cilium CLI. Okay, that's fine. So depending on which uh, platform you're in, I'm on Linux, so I'm gonna follow this instruction. I think it's gonna be pretty similar in Mac OS as well, yes. So this is the Cilium CLI version. 
and you're going to find out what's the current latest stable version of Cilium CLI. Let's try and run that. Okay, so that's 0 0.15.23. And then we run a bunch of commands to install that. Okay, let's copy all and then paste it here. That's done. So if I do which Cilium, okay, so we have Cilium installed. Um, I can do Cilium version minus minus client. Yeah, Cilium version is 0 0.15.23. So we have the Cilium CLI installed. What's next? Okay, so now we are going to actually install the Cilium uh, into our Kubernetes cluster. Again, depending on which Kubernetes cluster you are using, there are uh, things that you can do, the instructions you can follow, but let's go with the generic one. Okay, all we have to do is just run this command Cilium install minus minus version 1.15.1. If you don't specify the minus minus version, I don't know what the default version would be, um, but I think the documentation says to install uh, version 0 0.15.0 or above. So let's go with what's in this documentation. Okay, so before that, let's do Cilium help. So we have all these additional commands that we can use. So what we are currently using is install. We're going to use the install first and then use the status command to see how our installation is going on. Okay, so we can also do Cilium install minus minus help. And it gives you the additional commands and flags that you can pass into the install command. Okay, so Cilium install, install Cilium in current Kubernetes context with the default parameters. Okay, again, you can see here Cilium install. If you've got multiple Kubernetes clusters and you can pass in the context, you know, it, it, to which Kubernetes cluster you want to install Cilium onto. And in my Linux workstation, all I have is just one Kubernetes cluster running in kind. Uh, so I don't have to pass in any of these additional flags but if you've got loads of clusters if you're working simultaneously with multiple kubernetes cluster make sure to pass in the context otherwise you wouldn't know which kubernetes cluster you are installing cilium to okay and the again the version is the one the default version is version 1.15.0 cilium version to install okay uh, now that's the wrong command let's go back and copy that Okay, Cilium install, and we are installing version 1.15.1. Auto-detected Kubernetes. So what it says is it has auto-detected our Kubernetes cluster based on the kube configuration file that we have, and it's doing a validation check, detected kind version, and it's installing version 1.15.1. And now let's do Cilium status. If I do Cilium status, you get one error and four warnings. Uh, what are those? So one error is here. It says four parts of daemon set Cilium are not ready. So in here you can see the daemon set desired for, unavailable for. It's because it's just deploying. So you don't have to worry too much about it. Just after a few seconds, it'll all be okay. And it has one deployment Cilium operator and it is already, it is already in the ready state, I think. Uh, containers, four pending, cluster pods. Okay, so we haven't decided, we haven't uh, deployed Hubble, so that's fine. We're not using cluster mesh, that's disabled. Okay, let's do Cilium status again. Okay, cool. So now operator is okay, but Cilium two warnings. What are those two warnings? Server not initialized, ser server not initialized. So that's, I think you could safely ignore because we are not using Hubble at the moment. All we are uh, interested in is the deployment, which is fine, and the daemon set, which is also fine. So now, if you remember when we did kubectl get nodes, the nodes were not in the ready state. Now it should all be in the ready state because we have a working CNI overlay network in our cluster. kubectl get nodes, yep. So Kubernetes version 1.29 for node cluster, all of them are in the ready state. If I take a look at the pods, and that's beautiful. So you've got all the pods that are in the ready state. Okay, so what has changed? So if you noticed here, these are the additional things that were deployed. So that's the Cilium operator, which is a deployment uh, and it's running uh, one. And these are all the daemon set because we have four nodes in our Kubernetes cluster. There are four instances. So this, the one, and these are the other three ones. 
So four instances of Cilium running and one Cilium operator with just the deployment. So we have a working um, setup here. And just as a quick uh, testing that I do in all my videos, let's create a Nginx deployment and see if it can access it. kubectl create deploy Nginx, image Nginx, kubectl get all. Okay, container is getting created. Container is running, kubectl expose deploy Nginx, port 80, type is node port, Okay, not port. Yep, that looks better. Good see here. Yeah, okay, all. Okay, so three one six zero two. That's the node port. Uh, we need to know the IP address of one of the Kubernetes nodes. So kubectl get nodes dash o wide, and let's use one of the one of the ones. So this one here. Okay, if I do curl. And the node port, which is 31602. And there we go. Welcome to Nginx welcome page. Okay, let's clean up. kubectl delete. Service deploy Nginx. Okay, all gone. kubectl get ports dash A. So, what's next? All right, so the next thing that we're going to do as uh, we are following this uh, documentation, quick start guide. So we initially had our Kubernetes cluster. We started with a blank Kubernetes cluster without any CNI. We then downloaded the Cilium CLI tool, and then we used Cilium to install uh, the Cilium deployment into our Kubernetes cluster. We created a sample engine export and then made sure that we are good the networking is good but that's a very very minimal you know very basic net network testing Cilium also provides you with an extensive uh, network connectivity testing that you could do immediately after you deploy Cilium just to make sure that everything is working fine so you don't have to uh, check yourself you know every single thing so for that what we're going to do is to validate the installation all we're going to do is run this command Cilium connectivity test okay so bear in mind this is going to take some time you know because it has to go through a lot of tests you know in this uh, screenshot here it says 69 tests successful okay so it's going to run a series of tests it might take 10 minutes it might take 15 minutes depending on your network connection it might take 20 minutes so let's run that Cilium connectivity test so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to uh, come back when all the tests have been completed just to show you what the uh, the test report looks like and what's the summary of the test results are. Okay, so the command completed and you can see it took uh, 11 minutes and 56 seconds. It ran 47 tests. Um, all of them are successful. It skipped 18 tests. One scenario skipped. So it gives you an idea of you know how well your networking is doing. And if you want, you can just go through what each tests are. And if you are interested, you could see uh, the skipped scenarios and things like that. But it gives you some peace of mind uh, just to confirm that your CDM deployment is successful and everything is working as it should be. Okay, so all good. Let's go ahead and delete our cluster. Kind delete cluster. That's gone. I do docker ps. Everything is gone. Okay. All right, thank you everyone for watching this video. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.